Tragedy strikes a local high school again after a popular athlete is gunned down. Tyrus Coleman was a student at Shadow Ridge. Tonight, classmates telling 13 Action News he's not the only one they're remembering. Reporter Masa Saidi is live from near Lake Mead and MLK where the most recent tragedy happened. Masa. Trisha Steve, it was around dinner time. Kids were playing basketball. An officer even passed through. Moments later, something happened. Coleman was chased. You can still see the evidence marker on the ground. He was shot in the neck and killed. You were just with somebody, and then like the next day, they're gone. Why? Why do they have to go so young? It's hard to cope with. One, two, three unexpected losses since August. Tonight, the Shadow Ridge community struggling once again. We can't even go outside and play pickup games no more. Just hours ago, student Tyrus Coleman was shot and killed. Police say it happened after a fight on the court. The 17-year-old, a beloved football player. Being goofy and messing with the camera. <laughs> Markel Nelson not only close with Coleman, but he says he ran track with Gabriella. Gabby was very fun and outgoing. She always had a big smile on her face. Ashley was the classmate he turned to in times of need. She was like a, a big ball of joy. Each horrific loss happening a different way. Hundreds showing up at a recent vigil for Jalen Fajardo. <laughs> the 16 year old killed when a suspected drunk driver plowed into his car. Teens now searching for a way to honor their friends and move forward. If you need somebody to lean on, there's always people here to talk to. My mom always tells me, you know, to pray and just time will heal things, you know. And friends tell me they're going to wear red tomorrow to school to try to honor him. Police say no arrests have been made in this case. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Thank you.